always have some kind of ventilation going on. Especially if you're plasma cutting. Um, not, I'm, not that I am an authority on that or anything else. Um, this side. I started cutting the weld with this cutoff tool. After the third cutoff tool, I'm like, really? Fuck this noise. So I started plasma cutting it. And these, I overweld always. Um, yeah, I overbuild. Uh, it got to the point where I blew through the fender once. I'm like, nope. So I just fucking started cutting the shit off. Um, gonna cut some more off the top, like that, and use the air hose. Yeah, to cool that metal down. Everybody probably knows this. Um, this little piece of fucking craftsman, let me see where it's made at, Hong Tong? It is, because this is what happens, see the spring? It starts separating. Um, and then this thing wants to fall out. Yeah. It doesn't say where it's made. <coughs> yeah, really? Bet you I look hard enough. But anyway, um, that's the third one I had. But it's okay. It's all good in the hood. Um, gonna grind that stuff down. And anybody knows it's done body work or whatever, when you're grinding, you want to use some air, you know, to cool the shit down because you don't want you, you don't want to get all done and find out it's just warped. Oh yeah, I've been there more than fucking once. But hey, um, maybe it'll help somebody else not make a fucking mistake. Um, tack weld shit on. Tack weld, not full weld. But then again, I thought um I was uh, gonna keep this shit. See, there you go, full weld. But that's all gonna stay. Um, am I in a good mood? Sure, pretty much. It's always easy to tear shit apart, always. It's always the fun part. Putting the stuff back together, I'm not sure. Want some words of wisdom? I don't know if I got any. Um, words of wisdom, I don't do it, but I know you should. There you go. There's a lot of um, welding uh, welding jacket. I have a welding bib around here. Um, I do wear gloves. I used to not wear gloves until I burnt the fuck out of my hands more than once. You know, because you're always in a hurry and this stuff's going to be wham, bam, thank you, motherfucking and ma'am. Okay, what else I got to say? Not a whole lot of anything. Hmm. Words with some the tack weld. Tack weld. I would have tack welded this stuff. I would have been on and moved down to something else. Um, will I actually learn that lesson? Oh hell, probably not. Um, maybe I'll hear myself say it enough times. Not gonna be able to say it last day because there's so much moisture in our air and I got some good filters on my own compressor, but still, when you're packing a hundred plus, it's it's hard for any uh it's hard for any um, filter to uh, filter water out. It just really is. I mean, unless you have a dryer unit, and I don't have one. That's what I got, which is actually pretty nice. It's a double stage. Um, water goes in, then comes back out. By rights, it should be about a hundred. I'm sorry, about 50 feet or 100 foot away from the compressor. The reason it isn't, because I didn't know any better. Um, well, I did, I did get this from my dad when I was out there. Um, well, let me go on and get the keys. Um, maybe I can sing you a little jig. There you go. Oh, this is going to be a fucked up video. It's raining, which is supposed to in April showers bring my flowers. Um, 
Did I mention that I want more garage space? Yes, I do. But anyway, got a lot of projects going on like everybody else, I'm sure. Um, I believe it's a Harbor Freight. My dad bought it brand new. It's a pressurized sandblaster. Of course, you had to put the paint pimp. I did. Um, my dad asked about two of them, and he never used it. And it's a shame. You know, I'll get I'll get my share of use out of it because if I didn't have this sandblast cabinet, which is nice, and it's not airtight, I wish it was, but it's not. I really need to move it on this wall and put a vent out, but that's a whole nother subject. Here's some Corvette headers and yeah, brand new Demon Carb and yeah. Anyway, um, where's the wisdom of the day? Check this out. They're smart. Focus. Uh, it's too far away. See that camera? Yeah, I guess they got tired of people breaking windows and shit in there. Here's my scrap bin from my mom's house, yeah. Gonna build a little something over here. Oh, let's go and shut some juice off. Garage space. I'm gonna turn a little light on. Yeah, there's a little light on for you. Focus, there you go. Um, I would say lost project. Um, yeah, okay. What else I got to say? Not a whole lot. There you go, balling on a budget. Roll your own. Um, said it before, man. When this compressor runs, it will run. She's hot a little bit. Turn some fans on. If you don't, I think you're a dummy because you'll burn that fucker up. Trust me. Um, don't trust me. Let's go and do a commercial break and see what else I got to spit out. Not a whole lot. Um, oh, yeah. Commercial break again. There you go. Me, myself, and I. Um, yeah. Huh. Wow. That wild shit is pretty crazy. But anyway, am I kind of nervous about uh, doing a fabrication? Yeah, I am. Because this will be the third time. This will be the third time. Um, the ideas are there, kind of. Um, sometimes I, I wish that I had, like, a... Uh, four project bikes at one time because then I can implement the ideas. Not that I have a lot, but sometimes I do. Anyway, my point, I don't know. My point is, um, sell some of your motherfucking toys, people. Trust me. If you have enough property, sell your toys before you get too old. Build on your property a stall or two. You can start shooting cars. This is my philosophy. It's a dirty job, but you can start pulling money out the back and you don't have to go to work. If I had property, like I've said before in videos before, I'd give the S10 truck away. Um, I'd give the sports away, the bank away. Wouldn't give the chop away. Fuck, I'd give the chop away for the right size garage, but I'd have to get a pick. And I've already heard, you already heard that story. Um, yeah. But I ain't got much more to say besides that. Vent your garage. Because that plasma cutter. We'll get to you. Use a mask for anything. Anything. Trust me, man. Even when you smoke, you should wear a fucking mask. Tell you the truth. No, this is probably more for paint than anything. But I use it for, I got like three masks. One for body work. One for paint. Um, one for grinding. One for plasma cutting. And you always think it's only going to be a minute. Well, take it for what it's worth. I mean, see, I got a little bandana too, just in case I don't put that fucking mask on. Because I'm always in a hurry. Um, cover your fucking hands, your patty cakes. Uh, bouncing off the walls. Tennis shoe going down court. He does a layup. Bam! He fucking scores. No, no, no.
Try not to be in a hurry because, um, you know, wear a fucking shield too. Not just these glasses things. Um, yeah. Because this is all I wear when I plasma cut. But when you cut them, little sparks come up. Even though it should cut all the way straight through so the sparks don't come back. But what I'm doing is just tagging the weld and letting go. And it's not penetrating through the metal because I don't want to burn a hole through the fender. Anyway, still got a lot of grinding. A lot of grinding. It'll be an all day event. But, um, you gotta do what you gotta do. I never ask anybody to do a job that I am not willing to do, nor I haven't done. Um, because the more you have hands on experience than anything in life, even if you're not a master in it, like, uh, for example, like cars or washing machine or anything, like when I did my house, if you get to the point where you tear it apart, it's already broke. You can't make it any broker, okay? You can't. So I always figure once I take it apart and put it in the box and label it, if I don't know how to fix it, I'll carry it down to the man. At least I have some knowledge of what it takes to fix and what the parts are. Uh, I am very, very rare do I have to bring my stuff somewhere else. Very rare because it's a headache and a hassle, but I, I complete it. Point being on the moral story, no fucking no. Um, it's got a long ways to go. And that's okay. It's all your frame of mind. Whoa. It's all your frame of mind. And I know that some days are better than others. Because you, you, I could look at it and say, fuck, I got so much to do. And like Santex said, uh, and uh, he's right. Just focus on one spot. It'll all get there. The only way it won't get done is if you don't do it. Or you don't hire it out. I mean, if you want to hire a job out, that's fine. If you got money like that, that's cool. The only thing I don't like to farm my stuff out is, well, a couple of reasons. I don't have the frog skins. Um, like I said, if I hit a billion dollar model, I'd have a big ass fucking garage and I'd have guys not work for me work with me because I'd still be out the garage. It would make things get done faster. My point being, when you have somebody else to do work for you, especially uh, a paint s scheme or theme or fabrication, um, it's hard to explain to that person what you envisualize. If that makes any sense. Um, I've had things done and they didn't see what I seen, what I wanted, and it didn't come out as expected. Not that they did a turd bob job, which I've had people in, in this hood do some turd bob jobs, but that's beside the point. They can't read your mind. You gotta give them all the information. Even though you're giving them too much information, it's never enough. Because that way you, they can't have an excuse why it didn't come out the way you want it to come out. Especially like now when I do cars, I haven't done a car in like three months or something. Money ain't there. Ain't in my pocket, but it's okay. I'll ride it out. Um, maybe it's not supposed to happen. I want the right car. No, I'm sorry. This is push rewind. I want the right bike to come down the pipe with enough fucking money. That's what I want. And I'm pushing this stuff off. Pushing it off. Because I think with people that come over here and plop money down, and they see that I'm working on something on my own, they don't even have enough fucking common courtesy to realize that I would like to complete this. And some people think that an almighty dollar will make you stop and do what you're doing to make your dream come true. I'll give you an example. I went up on the internet and the Hudson's up there. The bid ain't, it's about halfway there. If it doesn't hit reserve, then I'll talk to my But anyway, this guy that I don't even know if he's a high bidder, he says if he's a high bidder and he sends somebody to come and pick up the Hudson, how can he pay me if it's not by PayPal? I said cash in hand. If you don't trust the dude that's carrying the cash to come get the car, then why do you have him come get the car? That's the first thing. Here's the second thing is, I think the dude's talking out of his butt, but could be wrong. He says, um, you do body work. Yeah, I told him I do body work. The reason I told him I do body work because I know what the Hudson's looks like. A lot of guys don't look at things like I do. 
unless well guys do body work they look at stuff some people just don't know a flower from an apple but anyway so I told him I did body work then he tells asked me I don't know what he's digging or fishing for he says how much would it cost me to have you complete it well uh, dude you ain't even bought the motherfucker I don't even know if you bid on it and now you want me to finish it so he he might be legit, which I don't believe this shit. Or, because he don't know me. He don't even know my caliber work. So that's why I kind of think it's bullshit. Because when I send my shit out, I want, I want to do a research, which I've done and they still suck. But anyway, now, um, maybe he's fishing to see how much body work there is. I told him it needed to be restored. Um, what I do is I ask him for in more pictures, personal video. Um, Anyway, where am I going with this piece of something, motherfucker? Piece of mine. Piece of property. Property, property. Son of a bitch, can I get some fucking property? Property is priceless. Even if you ain't got the money, you could always sell the toys to fucking build a bigger garage. In my world, that means a lot. But anyway, a piece of oneself is most important. Help. Piece of good help. Otherwise, you don't get shit done. Um, peace on earth ain't gonna happen. Piece of pizza, that shit gets old kinda. Piece of pussy, always oh, motherfucking good. Piece of corn dog, motherfucker's good too, the deep brown. And I don't even know the rest, to tell you the truth. Been saying it too many times. And when the big dogs get all done eating, even the puppies get a piece of something motherfucker, and you know, the big dogs are always going to be the big dogs. I see imperfection on my fucking fabrication. But anyway, you know why the big dogs get to me? Only sometimes they do. I try to blow it on my head. And I see, I watched Mecca auctions and I watched um, Barrett Jackson auctions. And it kind of be nice to be able to buy a car done. Because at my age, I'm getting tired. Um, not all the way there yet, the tired fabricating. But it would just be nice to turn key and drive and see shit. And here we go, I'm gonna end it. I remember when we was going through uh, Colorado, me and my wife a couple years ago, visit her brother uh, before he passed away, rest in peace. Somewhere in Colorado, I remember we were going around this bend and it took my breath away. And it, it made me tear up, what it really did. Because when I turned around the bend, I seen how high the mountain was, and it's right there. I mean, it made me feel how small I am, and there you go, um, piece of something. It's time to get back to work, because uh, I try not to let the compressor run all day long. Let it cool down, yeah. And cut.